So here we are at the first hole at Mill Green, it's a par five. This hole here bends slightly to the right. You can see the danger here is the trees on the right hand side. So I feel sometimes the best way to go about this hole is to go straight down the middle, which it will bend around to the right and you will be able to see the pin from there. So as you can see, the pin's just up the top here, but you've got a bit of danger on the left hand side with some bunkers and you also have some bunkers over that hill on the right hand side too. I hit a four iron, didn't hit it cleanly, but I did avoid the bunkers, so I was happy with that. You see the bunkers on the left and the right here too. So I took another four iron and I thought, let's just go for the green, but there are some bunkers on the top right hand side. Avoided those bunkers here, so I was very happy with that. Ended up not quite on the green, just on the edge here. Left me with two putts in, and I actually almost got it in one putt, which um, unfortunately didn't go in, but it was quite close. So I was quite happy with a five here. Here we go, I'm on to hole number two. Now this is a par four. Now it's quite a nice par four, it's not too difficult. The uh, fairway does open up to the right hand side. I don't know why, but I always end up on this right hand side. I mean, it's quite a big, quite a wide fairway here, but I somehow always end up up the top and the right, which is probably better than, you know, a bit too much on the left. Because as you can see, there are a few bunkers here. I think there's three bunkers on the left hand side and one on the top right hand side. So hit my driver, off the tee, landed slightly too far right but a 9-9 in and it avoided the bunkers so I was quite happy with that and that there left me for another two putt for par but unfortunately my putting wasn't that great today and I ended up three putting very annoying as I was quite happy to be on the green in two now this green does come down so it's quite fast So on to hole number three. I find this hole quite challenging as you've got to make it over the tree here in summer. You know, it's got a few leaves on it, I guess. But make it over the tree. The fairway does open up to the right and to the left. The danger is the bunkers on the top right hand side there. They're quite deep bunkers as well. Probably some of the deepest at Mill Green. So here I am first. Uh, actually, I used a four iron off the tee here because um, the tee box has been moved up. So I didn't need to take a driver. Took a four iron, again, slightly on the right hand side. Seems to be a recurring theme for me. But it leaves me for a short shot in. So I just took a nine iron and got right over the bunkers, which I was very happy about. But a little bit too high up on the right hand side. Now this green, obviously, as you may be able to see, slopes right down to the left. So that left me with quite a fast putt in. But I was happy I avoided these bunkers. There are bunkers on the right hand side and the left hand side here. So those are the first three holes at Mill Green. I will make a video of the next three very soon.